Hi, I'm Len from HLP Controls. We're here today to, as part of a series of videos, to show you how the installation procedure is on the Sensei Scientific B10 node data loggers. So when the data loggers are delivered to each outlet, they'll be pre-set up with all the details already done. So you don't have to worry about that. All you need to do is to get it into the vaccine fridge. They come with a little power pack, which plugs into a mains power point at some handy location near your fridge. And the probe is connected to the top of the unit via a little screw in probe. That's the probe sensor. So we'll put that unit on top of the fridge in a convenient location. The, pro the probe sensor has a twist tie. So we remove the twist tie and that frees up the probe. So the probe now needs to be put into the vaccine fridge. Open the fridge. If you can, slide out a shelf. It's very convenient for me because we don't have any vaccines in this particular fridge. Take a cable tie provided. Place the, sen the sensor under the vaccine fridge shelf and cable tie it in position. Not right at the back of the fridge, not right at the front, just centrally. Keeping the wire handy, close the vaccine fridge. This only takes a minute. With the unit, we've included some sticky pads with a cable tie. So with these sticky pads, you peel off the white section Taking the cable tie and the sticky pad, place it near where the cable exits the fridge and then use the cable tie to secure the cable. And that's just to keep it tidy, has no other function. Apply pressure to it for a while to keep it on and let's do another one up the top. Each one is provided with three. Very simple to install. Just tidy up the rest of the cable with the original tie that was provided. So that's the logger, it's plugged into the mains, you've installed the cable into the, into the fridge. On the bottom is a switch, and it's marked on off. Sliding the switch to on, the screen will light up. And it will say connecting to server. A red light comes on and a red screen is shown. After a few seconds, the green LED at the top will flash and the screen will show green and it will also show the temperature of the vaccine fridge. When you've reached that stage, you know that the vaccine monitor is working, it's reading the temperature of your fridge and it's transmitting it to the cloud. So that's a secure installation. If you ever need to have a look at the temperature in the fridge, if you push the bottom arrow, it will show you the current temperature in the fridge. And that's there. And we'll show a close up of that in a second. By pushing the OK button on the logger, it will actually send a transmission through and check that the cloud is working as well and that all your communications are working. So same thing again, if it comes up with a flashing green light and a green screen, after you push the OK button, then that's checked and it's transmitted a reading of the temperature right through and is now stored. So once that's done, you don't need to do anything else. You can just position that unit to wherever it's convenient. It can be moved a bit further away. You don't have to do anything with it. There's nothing you need to see on it. If 
ever the temperature in the vaccine fridge does not meet your set requirements, it will notify you by other methods, the email, SMS or phone message. So that's it. That's how the install is done. And you can just trim off the end of the cable ties if they're in your way, and the installation is complete. Once the unit has been installed in the fridge, if you turn it upside down, there's an on-off switch. So if we turn the switch off or on from this position, so turning the unit on, you'll see that it will flash red, it says connecting to server. It's waiting for a few minutes or for a few moments. And then the top light is flashing green and the screen goes green and it shows you the reading of the temperature. This unit's actually installed in a freezer and you can see the temperature is minus 16.6 .6 degrees C. So that's all there is to it. Um, shortly that will go off and the unit will go back to sleep. So it's now working. If at any time you want to just see what the temperature of the fridge is, if you push the bottom button, it will bring the unit out of sleep and display the temperature of the fridge. And there it is there. Pushing the center button, the OK button, also forces a reading to be sent to the cloud server.